Alright, another day, another video. Right now we're going to go to Pattern Focus. What is this? Why is this? Oh, what is that? No, 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 no. Okay, Pattern Focus. We're going to go to the next one, which is Sea Work. Sea Flow. Excuse me, Sea Flow. So nobody else has done this on a video yet. It's a step out by Karen Frank and it's a lovely organic thing. I get how she did here. Looks like uh looks like it could even be paint or pencils and um gel pen. It's beautiful. Okay, step one. We're going to put, where's my little pointy tool? We're going to put one, two, three, four, five dots in sort of a circular pattern. From those five dots, we're going to do teardroppy shapes, little watermelon seeds, however you want to call that. Then on the bottom of those, we're going to do these circles like that. After that, we're going to put one. We're going to put one in the middle, and we're going to fill in right here, so that it's nice and dark like that. Okay, and then on the outside of here, we're going to do an aura around this sort of teardroppy shape, making it a little bit wider here than it is here, so we'll kind of elongate that. And then the last thing is to come from a little bit up here down into that little V valley right there come out this way sort of a v-shape like so and then color embellish whatever you want to do look at that that's cool hope you could could see all that easy peasy I'm gonna use this one I'm gonna make it nice and big I'm gonna turn on my light and zoom in a little bit okay so we're going to start do i want to draw this one with a larger nib than normal i'm going to try something i want to draw this one with i found this when i was cleaning up this one is a prismacolor premier pen um chisel tip marker so instead of being a regular pointy one, it's got this chisel tip. Try that. We're gonna we're gonna change it up a little. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five. Five dots in a sort of a circular pattern. And then I'm gonna Do this shape using my chisel tip. That way I've got some line variation in there. That one squeaks. It's kind of more like a marker than a um, fine liner. So I may not like it, but you know what? It doesn't hurt to give it a try. I'm going to start here and go like this. It's hard to be accurate with it. I can see that now. I didn't get close enough there. This is hard to draw with. I guess there's a reason I don't draw with this pen. But that's all right. I'm just going to show you. You can draw with anything. You don't have to have the pens that I have. You can draw with something else. So then this one's going to have from about here to about there.
like that. And then from here, up like that. Yeah, this pen bleeds in the paper. It, not a good pen. But that's the plant that's the pattern right there. I think I'm going to embellish and play with it a little bit, but that's the end of the pattern. And I am not going to use this anymore. It's going to go back where I found it over here. Where it's not near my other drawing pens because that's just not quite right. I'll go back to my fine liners that I like. But I think I am going to um, do some more embellishment. I want that just a little bit bigger because I have a really big piece of paper. Something like that, and then I think I'm going to do just add a little something to these little petals. Okay, so I've just embellished. I've just done that same pattern again one more time around. So I just made it a little bigger is all. I think I want... I want little dots here. Oh, sounds like my son got up. He's alive! I don't know how he can sleep so much, but, you know, he's young. Somehow, the young people can stay awake forever and then sleep forever. Somehow, they can do both. I don't know. I have a hard time staying awake late, and I have a hard time ugh, sleeping forever, so that's interesting. else do I want to do? Do I want to color it? It does kind of feel like it wants a little bit of color. Or do I just want to put some pattern in there? I'm thinking I want to do just a little bit of orbs. A little tipple in here. Why? I don't know. Just, it just wants it. So, you know, when, when a pattern feels like it wants something, you just got to go with it. That's what it needed. I like to put some that are different sizes just so it's not completely all exactly the same in each one of these little petals.
like that. Oh, I like that. Okay. I'm happy with that. Really wasn't sure because I wasn't overly happy with with the pen that I chose. I thought that chisel marker would make an interesting line and it did make an interesting line but I wasn't necessarily super happy with it. I think a little bit of shading and we'll be done with this puppy. What's the name? Seaflow. Which direction is it going to move? This way, I think. Like that. Give this guy a little bit of shading inside each of these little seeds, I think, and I think down in this corner, like that. Something like that. See what that does with the blending. going behind a cloud. I don't have a whole lot of sun today, but a little bit I do have has just gone behind a cloud. Like that. And I think... Here. And then we'll come in with a little bit of white. I think this should be a fairly quick one. Yep, almost done. 15 minutes, boom. Super light, and then right in the middle, darken it up to get it with a big shine. Mm -hmm. What was that? Was that my son? No, that was a Facebook. Of course it was. I made the mistake of engaging in a conversation in a group that I probably shouldn't have. Because now it's become a heated discussion and it keeps popping up as notifications. I guess I need to just, when I'm done here, I need to go find that post and then just turn off notifications for that post because it's 
becoming a thing. Almost done, folks. Almost done. Okay. I think, I think we've done it. That's kind of pretty. I like it. Hmm. Alrighty. That was pretty simple. Easy to do. Organic. Flowy just my thing. I will see you guys tomorrow. You guys have a great day. I'm going to go see what my son is up to now that he's finally out of bed. And um, yeah, I'll be back. I've got one, two, three more videos to record today to finish off the week. And I'm almost done. So that's good. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.